lot going on here. A lot going on here. Do we get that? I want that. <laughs> Port, white rum, cranberry, orange, vanilla bourbon chai, tea, rosemary. What is I like for doing little because the next time you come back to it, it'll be completely different. Really good. And the drink of balls as it sits there. It's good. It's muddy. Okay. Like muddy bourbon. Kimchi and queso fresco. Mon Serrano croquettes with roasted garlic and saffron aioli. It's just um, crispy, like saffron, like bacon, mustard, or oh, boom. The chest is smoked with Japanese cedarwood and Maduro cigar tobacco. And then in the glass, there's coffee, chocolate, orange, tequila. This one is apparently envious. So it comes in this contraption, uh, which is called a Japanese vacuum pot. Something that's typically used to make coffee. Bottom chamber, there's gonna be bourbon, tangerine, and port. And then up top, ginger, mint, dried pear, and a tropical spice to come in tiny. And what's happening is the heat uh, creates a vacuum seal, which makes the air inside expand. So that basically forces the liquid to rise. And once it gets to the top, it just steeps with all those dry ingredients, just soaks all the flavor, some of the color out of them as well. I like it here, it's fun. It's fun. It's expensive. I mean, it's a goddamn laboratory. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Gin still has the base. It's a split of lemon and fresh yuzu and citrus. A muddled cucumber and then Italicus bergamot liqueur. And in place of a uh, Coke Americano, I use, it's called uh, Oscar. It's a fairly new vermouth company as far as I'm aware. But it's their dry vermouth that has a really nice kind of like herbal component to it as well with an absent rinse in the glass. Thank you. Oh, that's so light and fresh and has like a little bit of a gift. A little spice kick to it. It's like a crispy lemongrass dinosaur leg. That's what it is. I don't know how they made it that crispy. That's not just deep fried. Like I think that's. It's almost like a tempura batter in a lot oh, of ways. It's sous vide and then they batter it. And then yeah, they... I believe it's fried like twice as yeah. well. And I guess describe it. It's almost like glass. There's so much fried. Never had a duck wing. I'm into duck wings. Southern Arizona fell in love with Stan Angel Brown, yeah, cute face, all I graduate She's a type to make you happy. So during Prohibition, the Italians marketed their fernet as medicine So kinda, it's like, alright, we're gonna make a distillery in New York And sell our stuff to, as prescriptions so pretty much you can get a bypassing through with Prohibition Era. Distillery closed down because the FDA came after them. That's really like, your business in medicine, like what the fuck are you doing? So the distillery closed down, so none of this for Nat is ever made anymore. It's the last of it. But this is coming out of New York. It's from the same recipe as overseas. It's more of like, it's very medicinal, very tonic, very bitter. Chapters in a book of love romance. You could be the Pam to my chill. Hold up in my stomach. Light when it's still. And when it's warm, yeah.